Admittedly, the Arizona Cardinals 2023 season has not gone according to plan. But in year one with Jonathan Gannon, we've seen positive signs. Looking forward to next season, there are some roster changes to be made for sure. But certain guys have made their case to be extended by this team. This is especially the case for Cardinals receiver Greg Dortch. The 25-year-old is a part of his fifth NFL organization, but in Arizona, he seems to have found the recipe for success. A fan favorite who has fought through the ranks, a receiver who went undrafted, but he's finally being rewarded at the highest level. At 5'7", Greg Dortch is one of the shortest players in the NFL, but he's making the most of this big opportunity. This is the story of Greg Dortch. Growing up in Virginia, Dortch hit the field on a high school team that featured Titans safety Kayvon Wallace and Jets offensive lineman Makai Becton. Dortch was a two-way threat, not only playing receiver, but also getting snaps at defensive back, and he was lethal at both positions. Despite this, Dortch would only receive three offers to play college football. In 2016, he would commit to Wake Forest. His other offers were from Texas State and Coastal Carolina. With the Demon Deacons, Dortch would play in 20 games over two years. As a freshman, he led the team in receiving with nine touchdowns along with 722 yards. The following year, he would once again lead the team statistically. Over a thousand receiving yards and eight touchdowns. Perhaps more impressively, Dortch had two punt return touchdowns that season, which was tied for the lead in the ACC. Dortch didn't receive much attention from NFL scouts coming out of college. The scouting report on the official NFL website reads, quote, He has the hands and quickness to become a future starting slot receiver, but there will be teams that scratch him from their board due to his lack of size. Some of the weaknesses in that same article include very limited catch radius, waits for throws to get to him, and a frame that is too small for contested catches. He was given a prospect grade of 5.40, which put him under the category of a priority undrafted free agent. Dorch did not partake in any of the combine drills, and his future was unclear. He had options. NFL teams would be interested in bringing him on for preseason. And it's worth noting that the Hamilton Tiger Cats held his CFL negotiation rights. More on that later. Dorch decided to join the New York Jets after the draft and try to make the team out of camp. He had a very strong showing in the preseason, but wasn't able to make their active roster. Instead, he would remain on the Jets practice squad until the Carolina Panthers would sign him on October 16th, 2019. He would then make his NFL debut against the Tennessee Titans in Week 9. Dorch would appear in just two games for the Panthers, only as a return, bouncing between the team's practice squad and active roster several times. On December 10th of that year, he would be waived by the Panthers and not brought back. However, after just two days on the open market, Dorch reached an agreement with the Los Angeles Rams. Sadly, he would never have the opportunity to play for the team. After a very brief stop in Atlanta, Greg Dorch found himself out of the league for over a month. He said he was preparing to head to the CFL and begin the next step of his football career in Canada. However, the day before he was set to leave, the Arizona Cardinals would give the receiver a call. He would try out for the team and make two appearances that season. In 2022, the Cardinals saw Greg Dortch break out in preseason. With injuries to Rondale Moore and Antoine Wesley, plus the DeAndre Hopkins suspension, Dortch would make the team with an opportunity to start. Before week one, I made a video saying that Greg Dortch was the silver lining for the Cardinals and a candidate for a breakout season. I'm not saying that I predicted it, but I might have. At 24 years old, Dorch would get his first consistent chance to play in the NFL, and he didn't look back. In week three against the Rams, a team that cut him, he would record nine catches for 80 yards. That was the first game that the Cardinals saw what Greg Dorch was truly capable of. Fast forward to week 11 in Mexico City. Dorch would light it up on Monday Night Football. Nine receptions, 103 yards he would once again have an incredible game. 
10 catches for 98 yards in prime time against the Bucks. In that game, he rekindled his connection with Trace McSorley that he created during the preseason. Something about Dorch under the lights. In three primetime games for the Cardinals, he had 20 catches, 206 yards, and a touchdown, accounting for nearly half his season stats. His totals for that year were 52 catches, 467 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. Despite the new coaching staff, new management, and so much change throughout the organization, one of Monty Austin Ford and Jonathan Gannon's first priorities was keeping Greg Dortch around. To earn the confidence of a new regime solely off of his 2022 season tape was impressive, but Dortch still had to be able to make the team. Once again, he would impress in the preseason, to nobody's surprise with many Cardinals fans calling for number 83 to be a starting receiver in week one. It took a while for him to find the field, as the Cardinals would eventually start to struggle at receiver, seeing Hollywood Brown and Michael Wilson each get banged up, it was time for Greg Dortch. And since Kyler Murray has returned, Dortch has been lighting it up, taking advantage of those injuries, as well as making an impact in the return game. He's not here by accident, sure. The stats aren't all pro level right now. 139 receiving yards and one touchdown. But those stats are almost all from just three games. Greg Dorch had just one reception before week 11 against Houston. In that game, he caught six passes for 79 yards. The following week against the Rams, three catches, 27 yards, and a touchdown. And in week 13, he made arguably the biggest catch of the game sealing the victory for Arizona against Pittsburgh. In week 10 against the Falcons, it was Greg Dortch who had a 49-yard punt return which helped Arizona regain momentum in the third quarter. So what I'm saying is, if you need a play, 83 is going to make it. Arizona needs to re-sign him. They've had way too much inconsistency at the wide receiver position this year especially. The future of Hollywood Brown is unclear as well as Rondale Moore. And in my opinion, Dorch has outperformed those guys so far this season. From being, quote, too small to make contested catches to this when the game is on the line, he is a fan favorite and a personal favorite of mine for a reason. And this is just the beginning. Teams can expect to be Dorched every week for the foreseeable future and hopefully he'll be doing that all in the red and white, catching passes from Kyler Murray for years to come.